TV3 New Day, and of course, we're talking a forum that's happening later today. Now, this won't be the first. I'm sure that you were with us when we discussed the coronavirus and Ghana's preparedness towards um, battling this pandemic, which has now been declared by the World Health Organization. And it was a very interesting conversation, very eye-opening as well as to where Ghana was at that time in terms of battling it, if it should happen or if it should be recorded here. Now, we're moving on to another very important conversation. And this is very characteristic of Media General with our Thoughts Leadership Series because we always look to interrogate and harness, uh, you know, the thoughts of leaders in the country in order to make sure that we're on the right path in terms of getting government to put out certain policies that will ensure that we are on the right path as well. And so today at 3 p.m. we have another conversation. This time it's um, in commemoration of the one-year anniversary of the Emil Short uh, Commission of Enquiry report that was put out after the January 31st uh, were gone by elections violence and so we'll be asking the questions as to why um, you know the government still released a white paper after the meal short inquiry um, report and what that means as we're heading into elections so this is under the election command center yes. and who better than to discuss it than our very own Bosukina. <laughs> good morning good how morning. are you doing oh it's a blessing to be alive and it a pleasure is? to be here it is okay yeah. tell me why at my age i count my days oh you, know? you do <laughs> i'm going older every day okay well so um salam is the head Yes. of the news, uh, yes, news planning okay news planning yes here at media general yes. and he's going to tell us all about the uh, yes. forum that's happening later today so sure. first of all why this particular topic and why this time well for a number of obvious reasons uh, but the most important being that this is the one year anniversary since the emil short commission presented its recommendations mm -hmm. to government to the president to be specific and uh, it's been a year of all of us waiting to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. Of course, government issued a white paper rejecting certain portions of the report, uh, but there are others also that are begging attention. And yeah. we thought that, look, given that this matter is so important, it's held the national attention for about five months. Uh, and given that we're going to an election and people are angst about whether the uh, the vigilante groups and those who, the goons who caused mayhem yeah. on that day uh, could still be used by politicians to cause confusion. We think it's an important conversation to be had. Okay. Uh, so we've uh, put this together. It's a lecture under the aegis of the Election Command Center. It's a lecture to be delivered by Ernest Kofi Abochi. Mm. He, uh, it's particularly important because he's the, um, your secretary to the Emil Short Commission. I see. Uh, okay. So he will help us. You take us through the back end conversations that have happened on the issue. I mean, mm -hmm. there were several deliberations. What were the considerations that they had? Uh, how the commission also, or what it thinks about the government's rejection of its uh, the report, whether really they were out of the attempt of reference, I and see. a number of other issues. Also to make suggestions as to how we can prevent that from happening in the future. Okay, and that's happening later today. That's happening later today in the okay. executive theater of TV3. Um, doors are open from 2.30. The program begins exactly at 3 o'clock. If you've observed, we've been consistent with yeah, time. So our doors, the auditorium is open. It's open to the public. Oh, so anybody at all can Anyone attend. is invited if you're interested in the issue. Uh, we're going to have in attendance a, a number of people, people who have been drawn from civil society, from the public sector, uh, from the uh, 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 diplomatic call. They are all going to be here from the security establishment. It's a big conversation that is going to be had today under this lecture. And guess who's chairing? Oh, tell me. We have the, as chairman, okay. the former minister of national security under President Kufu. I see. And uh, that's Mr. Francis Poku. Okay. Uh, we haven't heard from him in a very long time. Very and given his time. breadth of experience, uh, we think that we couldn't have had a better chair hmm. uh, to assist the lecturer in addressing the issues that come up. This is going to be exciting. Now, yes. for the general public, I'm sure their question would be, how does this benefit me? as a regular Ghanaian. So yes. if you can please uh, educate us on I that. I think we find the benefit in the topic for the lecture, which is uh, promoting stability, electoral violence, and the 2020 elections. Um, elections, it's a democratic exercise. We go there to exercise our franchise. But if it's not done in an environment of stability, and if we are not properly positioned to deal with the fallout, if you yeah. will, then this whole democratic enterprise becomes waste. Okay. Uh, we don't want to descend into, we see such examples in West Africa. We don't want to descend into those choppy waters. And so we think these, having a public dialogue and allowing people to exchange ideas, holding people with power to account, that we will not forget what happened a year ago. Media mm -hmm. general 
the election command center, which is your most authoritative election coverage machine, in fact, the most iridescent, yeah. will hold power to account. Okay. If we don't have a stable elections, which means that we don't have a stable country to live in, all this will be waste. Commerce, enterprise, whatever business you think you have. You've seen the tele tele television pictures yeah. of countries yeah. that have been through war. Yeah. Even children are put on the front lines. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to descend into that. We have enough problems of our own. Too many. Too many <laughs> so, already. Uh, we, we want to build a conversation that leads up to a secure election. And of course, who better to do it than your most authoritative election coverage machine, which is the Election Command Center. Definitely. And so this is, of course, non-partisan as well. We're not it is, it's non-partisan. Yeah. Uh, it it's a conversation that is going to be had. Although we're going to have uh, the leaders of the various political parties in attendance, mm. we think it's important to have them there. These it are is. people who we trust with power, with public authority, uh, to take the decisions that have to be taken. I mean, look at it. The commission sits for how many months mm -hmm. deliberating on television. Mm. We use public funds to sponsor, sponsor. it, only for us to be told, you know what? We are not going to accept certain portions of it. What does this mean for security going up into the election? Does this embolden people who think they can take the law into their own hands and cause trouble for us at the polls? Mm -hmm. So it's an important conversation. It's it not linked to any party, even though it is not non-biased. Yeah. We, are, we are biased towards truth. We are biased towards the security of our elections. We are biased towards national development. Definitely. And so again, it's happening this afternoon? It's if happening you can give this us afternoon. The, details again. Okay. Uh, the lecture begins at 3 o'clock at the TV3 Executive Theatre. It's here on the premises of TV3. Our doors are open from 2.30. It's open to the public. You're invited to be a part of this conversation. It's an mm. important one that needs to be had. Mm. It's going to be live on TV3 and okay. all media general news platforms. Okay. But as with all our lectures and forums, the bigger conversations continue after the cameras have been turned off. Definitely. So you don't want to miss out on those. And since I have you here, I might as well ask, we yes. launched the Election Command Center just a few weeks ago. Yes. And so uh, what have we done so far and what does it look like for us as we head into Election 2020? Oh, there was a lot done even before the launch. Mm. Um, we, no wise general goes across a table where his enemies could be watching and discuss his battle plan. So yes. I'll be very uh, I'll be reductive about what I share on this platform. But I can assure you that we are going to deploy programs that would rival the best international standard in terms of quality mm -hmm. anywhere else. We're mm -hmm. going to have programs that speak to the real needs on the ground. We're going to be testing the pulse of the public, assessing the popularity of candidates in various mm -hmm. uh, constituencies. Yeah. Uh, I can't give you the exact blueprint because many are Definitely watching. Definitely many are watching, exactly. <laughs> but you, uh, we, we have a tradition, we have a proud tradition of showing the world that we cover elections like no other. True. But this time around, 2020, we are taking it a notch further. Definitely. And so make sure that you join us at 3 p.m. Uh, as we have this very pertinent discussion on the, um, you know, the future of elections in the country, looking at how government issued a white paper to reject some aspects of the Emil Short um, report. Well, report, exactly. So thank you so much, Salam, ah, is the head of news planning here at Media General. Yes. And we're looking forward to the next public lecture oh, as well. Oh, it's going to come. So it will come, it definitely, will come right? Large. <laughs> okay. Well,